We are here at the Roosevelt Hotel, about to do the year-end issues. Some people have to look perfect for to be on camera. They need all that stuff. Me, I, I really don't, you know. Have you ever um, looked at carllewis.com? As in track star? <laughs> yeah. Why the hell nice. would I ever, like, what? It's special. What he did, he took, he did these shorts, and, uh, and he's playing a pimp in this, in this particular That's not short. believable. Well. That's like seeing Urkel as a gangster or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I mean. It's almost looks like, it almost looks like he doesn't believe himself. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> like, I, I need to uh, stick to the 400 uh, meter relay. I can't. Can I just improv? Oh. <laughs> he just wanted a nigga to hand him a, a baton in the middle of the scene. <laughs> it's a real of no one's ever seen. <laughs> real There's of another of might not have seen me in. This is a real of <laughs> A real of <laughs> that we've never. And we, why are you really in this? Is no, no, I'm going to tell you why. Because I think that if in conversation, he would tell you like they're big movies. You know what I mean? Like, like you know, like. Uh, like Denzel could sit down and go, yeah, well, you probably saw me in Malcolm X. Uh, you probably saw me in a training day. I uh, did a nice, uh, I got a new film coming out. He'll name stuff that you ain't never heard of. I was in uh, Me and Derek, which was a good, <laughs> was a good film. Uh, I did uh, Holla Back, Who Are You, which was a good, like we did that overseas. Back, who are you? <laughs> and uh, Where's My Pistol? Where's My Pistol was good, because it was written by a, a good filmmaker. Friend. Like, we were talking. Nothing interesting. <laughs> we don't care about anything you've been in. <laughs> Honey, come on. They, they, they're calling us. Hard on. No, that's hard. Yeah, every scene. Yeah, he has, and he has to be at work. Well, I have to touch him. It's been, you know, it's been 10 years since Tupac Shakur passed away. Um, why do you think Tupac is still so relevant now, even 10 years after his death? I, th I think that it's still relevant because it was good music and, you know, it seems like hip-hop needs <laughs> Tupac right now. I know, think uh, Tupac is still relevant because he's fine. I think that plays a very large part of, a, of it. Don't, you don't think? Oh. I mean, he's gorgeous. So I like him. I still listen to the music. Do him a little fantasy. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to Are you serious? I'm kidding! I'm kidding! <laughs> so, man, you guys saw what happened with Harold Ford. You what was that about? The ads, you see it? Yeah, yeah. Playboy bunnies, uh, limousines, the, the pri private planes. I mean, he's single. <laughs> I didn't see a problem with it. <laughs> hey, you got a problem with my Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least he was single, though. I'm married now, but... That's right. <laughs> you know, but I, I can live vicariously through Harold. <laughs> Baby and Little Wayne, what do you think about a grown man kissing another man in the mouth? Um, Tone was involved, was it? Ah! Thank you so much. Really All right. Thank you so much.